We are starting off with breaking news here on the News at 4 and getting right into the very latest on the Valley Fire burning near Lucky Peak. Our Aspen Chumper has, joins us live from Barber Observation Point. Aspen, what's the latest on this? Yeah, Brenda, the Valley Fire continues to burn here. At last count, the Bureau of Land Management says it has burned 4,000 acres. Now, the Boise County Sheriff's Office says the main concern right now is the north end of this fire, which is where you're seeing the smoke just over the ridge. Right now, there is smoke and visibility concerns, planes not being able to see. That is near communities like Roby Creek and Wilderness Ranch. Just before noon, the Roby Creek area was on a level one ready evacuation. That's when we went out there. They have been without power since 5 a.m. and most people out there were unaware of the fire status. We talked to a homeowner who had no idea they needed to get things together. There's no power. <laughs> I mean, there's no way to be warned. I mean, we have a fire that we're supposed to be evacuating on and no warning. After our chat, he did say they were going to gather their dogs and head to a family's house over here in Boise. Roby Creek since then has moved to level two set evacuations. Wilderness Ranch remains at a level one ready evacuation. Both of these communities have over 300 households in them. We're going to hear more from Boise County Sheriff's Office about how they're going to get information to the people living in those communities that are without power. We'll talk more about that at 430, but right now I'm going to send it over to Rachel, who's going to give you some some information about weather impacts and how that can impact this fire. Yeah, and I think they will in a pretty big way today, Aspen. We've already seen that fire shift pretty erratically throughout the day due to winds in that area. Look at the wind right now. Across the Treasure Valley, nothing too significant, but we've recorded in the last several minutes a 43 mile per hour gust in McCall. Those areas shaded in purple on this contour map are seeing winds approaching 50 miles per hour. So this is all because of a cold front that is coming in from the west. We have a very hot day out there right now. This is a pretty strong front. Those two air masses will collide and that really tightens up what we call the surface pressure gradient and that will really create those intense winds. So where we are seeing the most intense winds right now, we do have some wind advisories that are in place through nine o'clock tonight, mostly eastern Oregon, the southwest highlands all the way east into southern Twin Falls County. We're talking the potential for 50 to 60 mile per hour gusts to continue, especially along the I-84 corridor near those open agricultural areas that could create blowing dust. A wall of dust is possible with that wind out there. And the other piece of this puzzle is that we are very hot and very dry. Mountain Home has already set a record. They're in the 90s right now. 91 currently in Mountain Home. 87 in Boise. One degree shy of the record high for today. Twin Falls has now set a record high as well. This is unusually hot for October. So that is one thing to consider when we talk about the fire weather warnings that are also in place across nearly our entire viewing area. You put those dry conditions together, the gusty winds, and then a wildfire will start seeing some active fire behavior. So just something to be mindful of and be very, very cautious today, folks, with anything that could create a spark or a flame.